Marlboro's because cancer's yummy. They say eventually you'll forget. You'll forget about that girl you're trying so hard to keep in your life. They say all those nights you lie awake thinking about what you could have done. Well, they'll fade away one morning with the sun. One day you'll just wake up and there'll be no more feelings. And yeah, you traced her name into your ceiling, but suddenly she's not that appealing because you forgot. You forgot what it's like to feel her hand in yours. You used to think she was your entire world. Now she's just a void in your heart that's slowly filling back in. And you used to talk about you had no clue what you'd do without her. Well, look at you. It took some time, and you've forgotten. You've erased that part of your life within a year. And though you may think about what you had, it'll be the bigger things you'll think about. You'll envision that movie date and then boat ride. You won't recall the way she laughed at everything you said. How she'd always leave a plate outside for the dead because it made them feel more welcome. Well, did I mention you're still alive? Even after all the times you said you'd never survive without her, you didn't die, and she... She wasn't your everything and your all. No, she was a simple plight on this course we call life. And though it was a tragedy, magically we're still standing on two feet. You see, we made such a big deal about this high school relationship, so I'll throw you a simple question, and it goes a little like this. Have you forgotten about me like I've forgotten about you? Because you see, I've learned to move on with my life, and I just want to know if you've done the same. Because darling, what you must realize is this. If you ever gave me another chance for a love to exist, I'd make sure it wasn't just a temporary bliss. I'd throw myself back into my demeanor of kindness, but I can't keep waiting on this fantasy. Because I've tried to be everything you wanted of me, but I'm just not strong enough. And after six years of constant addiction, I've given up. I've gotten addictive everything, and that's what you did to me. You got me hooked on every part of you that I'd see, because I could stare into your eyes forever, and I could play with your hair until it tangled between my fingers. I could freehand your entire body in my sleep, and yes, I understand stating all this probably makes me look weak. And all my heartbreak simply came from within. And all these things I remember that took days to recover for that were shoved so far down into my mind. So let me ask you, do you remember where it all happened to begin? Because darling, I do. I remember almost everything about you, but I also remember nothing at all. So every time my chest happens to rise and fall, I'm constantly changing. My entire mindset is always rearranging, and you see the thought of you now only comes in random surges, like when I walk in the old market and my body unconsciously drifts towards the slides, or how when I walk outside and all I see is dark clouds, or I remember how we sat in your room that day and I got you to go and play in the rain with me. It was a heavy downpour and you said you wanted your first kiss in this exact spot, the corner of 12th and Main Street, but you see I forgot. I forgot how that exact moment felt. I remember how the rain washed away your makeup as if you had just cried. I remember how we had to take off almost all of our clothes because your mom didn't want to get anything wet inside. But almost every single emotional feeling I felt for you has died. And I know I've been a little different lately, but it's because of time. And with time, we learn from the mistakes we're going to have to make. We learn from success that we never thought would materialize. You see, change does exactly that. It changes everything. Erosion or a sudden explosion of the underground volcanoes. The carbon cycle or the repetitious samsara cycle. Everything is constantly changing, which brings me back to my point. Impermanence is dominant and change is inevitable. And throughout all of my own change, things just fell apart and didn't feel the same. Because I'm growing up right now, and I'll take a final bow because you see, darling, this is the last thing I'll ever write for you. Because I need to get you out of my head and leave you with the dead. But my eyes aren't set to kill, they're only set towards my own will, and that's the only thing I want more in life right now. It's to rid of your echoing voice and leave you like you left me as simply as a choice.